Tektronix AFG 3022 dual channel arbitrary function generator. Power is here. I'm going to power it up and go through the self test. Brings us to the main menu. All our functions are here. Keys and where we're currently at. We're in channel one right now. I've got channel one hooked up to my oscilloscope. In fact, let me move this down a little bit so we can easily see. And I'm going to turn on the output from channel one, which is right here. So we've got a five volt peak to peak, 250 kilohertz. And that's what we've got here. You can see I'm at 5 volts peak to peak in my frequency. So I'm going to change those things so that you can uh, see that it works uh, in each channel. So I'm going to first go to amplitude to change the voltage. So I'm going to hit that key and then amplitude. And I'm going to go to 10 volts peak to peak. 10. You can see here is volts. So I hit volts changes here to 10 volts and you can see that our waveform has doubled in size. I'm going to go back to the top menu and I'm going to change our frequency. So we're at 250 kilohertz right now. I'm going to change that to 1 megahertz. And you can see over here that our frequency has compressed, which means we're getting uh, more waves you know, per second. Um, so, you can see that that function here, I just stepped through the ramps, uh, different types of waveforms. Um, so, we can back up so you can see the oscilloscope. I'm going to go to a square wave. So you can see that we've now have a square wave there. Um, ramp. And uh, go back to uh, a sine wave. Um, there's many different functions that you can do on here. I'm going to switch at this point to channel 2. So I'm going to take this off, go to channel 2, and hit that on. Turn that one off. And now we're set over there exactly like we were over here. And you can step through the same things. It'll, it'll uh, step through all of the, all of the same uh, functions that uh, this one did. Um, so I'm going to change this to channel 2. Amplitude 10 amplitude 10 volts and again we're changing over here as we are over, over here. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that it, depending on your um, device, and in my case, I'm going to uh, the directly to the oscilloscope. So um, the output menu is where your impedance matching is taking place. So I'm going to go to the output menu. Your load impedance is here, and I've got it set for uh, load high Z. That's high impedance, which is required. If you have a 50 ohm load, you can just you can just change it to that. Um, that's 